Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to a new What's for Dinner. We have got some delicious, easy weeknight meals for you guys. We are starting out this week with Homemade Hamburger Helper. This is one of my recipes and I have a whole printable um, recipe for this. So I'll have it linked in the description box. I did go ahead and cook and drain my ground beef and then I'm adding in my liquid to that same pot and it's just some milk and some water. Add in a few dashes of Worcestershire. Next, I'm going to add in my seasonings, which is some paprika, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some salt, and some pepper. And then you will add in your pasta. Uh, you can use any pasta you want. Um, I've made this recipe several times using different pasta, and it always turns out delicious. And then once your pasta is cooked, you're still gonna have a little liquid in there and that is okay. You're gonna go ahead and add in your cream of mushroom soup. Give it a good mix. Add in your Velveeta. You can use the cubed, but as y'all know, I love the Velveeta cheese sauce packets. It makes life so much easier and you can just throw those into any meal. So I'm gonna add that in there, give it a good stir, and then you can pick whatever side dish you want to go with it. For us, we always do either peas or corn with our hamburger helper. It's just like a staple around this house. <laughs> Don't forget, you can get exact measurements in the recipe that will be linked below. Finally, add in your bacon bits and you're ready to serve. Next up, we have got some delicious smoked chicken thighs. So this was actually our anniversary. We have been married for eight years on August the 3rd. So Luke woke up early and decided to smoke us some bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. And y'all, they were delicious. I just shared the seasonings with you guys that we used. He marinated those in Scott sauce for about an hour. And then he got his smoker all ready. He has that on 350 and he's just going to smoke that for about 45 minutes to an hour and y'all I'm telling you they were delicious. So to go along with our chicken that Luke is smoking tonight, I've got a can of carrots here that I have just drained and I've added some brown sugar and butter and I'm just gonna let those cook up and then I have got um, a pack of this broccoli florets from Sam's Club I've just cooked it according to microwave directions and then I've just dumped it in here liquid and all whatever liquid was in there I just dumped it in there I'm gonna add in some milk and add in this Velveeta cheese sauce and make some cheesy broccoli and so those will be our sides to go along with our chicken Here is the chicken when it was all done. I'm telling y'all, this was so good. We love the flavor, the little heat that it gets from the Scott sauce and then adding that clucker dust oh, is just the best combination. Luke did an amazing job cooking the chicken. We had an amazing anniversary dinner. We are having quick and easy tacos for dinner tonight. I just cooked up two pounds of taco meat. Got the salsa minute rice. I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys. We've got sour cream, black olives, cheese. I also have lettuce for Luke. I'll get it out. I already made Winston, so they'll be cooling. We've got soft shells and we have some hard shells that in the air fryer. So quick and easy lunch for today. So for mine, I always love to take a soft shell, melt some cheese on it, and then add a hard shell and then fill up my tacos. They are so delicious. I 
And I've got five boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. I'm going to make Italian chicken. We normally do this with pasta, but I'm gonna try to do it in zucchini boats just because we're trying to change a few things. We're not going on a diet or nothing, but just trying, trying to change a few things every now and then. So I've got one can of cream of chicken soup. The recipe that I've always went by is um, th through Pinterest, and I'll have it linked down below, but it calls for two cans of cream soup. I've always only used one can, and it's always turned out fine. So, um, but if it's dry, it all, two at the end of the day, it depends on how much pasta you add to it. So if you have a big family and you're making, say a whole box of pasta, then you probably would need the two cans. But since it's just us, and I normally only add a half to three fourths of a box of pasta, when I normally do this with pasta, I've always only done one can and it's always been fine. So I've got some zesty Italian. Add that whole thing in there. Why did I? Why did I do that? I'm losing my mind, y'all. Losing my ever-loving mind. Put your cream soup in there. I don't know why I put that in that bowl. And the best thing about chicken thighs, one of the reasons why I love chicken thighs in the crock pot, it only takes about two to three hours to cook. So it's already like 2.30, 3 o'clock. So this will get done just in time for dinner. So just smooth that out. And then I'm gonna add a block of cream cheese on top. Don't mix it or anything, just sit it right on top. And it will heat up as the chicken cooks. And then you can just mix it in when you shred your chicken. So like I said, we're gonna try to do this in zucchini boats to see how it, how it is instead of pasta but i'll also have a link to when i've made this in the past before and we've made it with pasta so i'll have that video linked we're just going to try to be a little healthier tonight and use zucchini and i am going off of my normal meal plan also <laughs> uh my normal meal plan did not have this on it but it's just sounded good. And sometimes you gotta go off your meal plan and make something that sounds good. So we're gonna put the lid on it, let it cook, like I said, for about two and a half, three hours, and it is normally done and ready to go. And then whenever it's time for me to cook the zucchinis, I will come back and share that with y'all. So I had to do a voiceover for this part because Winston was right beside me playing with Play-Doh and he was being really loud. So I've just washed my two zucchini. Of course you need as many for your family. We just used four, cut those in half, and then I'm gonna take and kind of dig those out where you get the boat, you know, zucchini boat. Um, and then once you get those all hauled out you're going to put those on a baking pan i have the oven preheated to 400 and i'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on each one and some some spg which is just salt pepper and garlic and then i'm going to cook those in the oven for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees
So I have shredded our chicken. Here's what it looks like. So at this point, if you wanted to, you would cook your pasta and add your pasta in here, mix it all together, creamy and delicious. But like I said, we're gonna use the zucchini boats this time and see how it is with it. Looks disappointed, but it'll be okay. This is one of his favorite meals, so he's super disappointed. But I am cooking a few noodles for Winston because I know he won't eat the zucchini, but he said he's gonna try it. And then I'm gonna cook some garlic toast in the air fryer. Excuse the mess, I need to clean it. But we're gonna cook that up for a couple minutes. And then the zucchini is almost finished. So it said to, I'll link the one I used. It said to cook them for 15 minutes. Then you'll add the filling, put it in there and put it back in the oven for however many minutes. I gotta check the recipe again, but I'll have that one I went by just for the boat, to cook the boats. I'll have it linked below also. But this is one. One of our favorites, hopefully even without the doodles. So a couple recipes that I had found on Pinterest, um, there was different timings, of course, on to cook the zucchini before or after or whatever. And we honestly like our zucchini a little softer. So that's why I went ahead and just followed the recipe that said cook them for 15 minutes before, fill them, and then cook them for 20 minutes. Um, so if you like more of a bite to your zucchini, you might be able just to fill them and put them in there for the whole 20 minutes and be done. Or if you like your softer like we do, then I would recommend doing the 15 before, then doing the 20 once it's filled. These were super delicious. I'm telling y'all, um, I don't think Luke was as near disappointed <laughs> after he ate them. This isn't one that had leftovers, of course. We ended up each eating two of these. Um, but honestly, I don't think with the zucchini being soft, I don't think it would have been good leftover anyways. But we will definitely be making this again. Plus, I plan on trying different versions with the chicken and doing it in the zucchini boat or even ground beef or turkey or whatever. Um, I felt like this was a great alternative for pasta and it was super delicious. Here is what they looked like after 20 minutes in the oven. I'm telling you all, these were so good. I cannot rave over these enough. I will definitely be making these again. Last but not least, we are grilling some burgers. Well, Luke was grilling some burgers. He took and patted out the hamburger meat and then he seasoned it with some of that campfire seasoning and he also let it marinate for a little bit in Worcestershire sauce. It really helps um, the meat get nice and tender and it gives it really good flavor if you've never tried it. So he just let that marinate for a little bit and then now he is putting it on the grill and he just cooked those up until internal temp at least 155 um, for ground beef but it's total personal preference I feel like <laughs> on how you want your burgers cooked he seasoned that other side and then for the sides I just cooked up some easy mac and cheese and then we have our buns So I just cooked up the pasta, drained it, and then I added in some milk. You can kind of see the milk. Of course, the milk and cheese is just, however much you add, it's just gonna depend on the amount of pasta that you have that you're cooking. But I have it back on the eye, and the heat's just gonna help melt the cheese and the milk. And as it melts, you can tell what consistency, whatever consistency you're wanting, you can add more milk, or if it needs to be cheesier, you can add more cheese. But this is how I do it. And then I'll add in some pepper also. Mm -hmm. 
And that is it, y'all. That wraps up this delicious week of meals. Hope this gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home. Maybe try something new. You might find a new meal that your family will like, just like us and the zucchini boats. We've really enjoyed those. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.